Hello everyone, this is uh, Shadris from NCDH 2023 in New Orleans. I'm really privileged to be with the chairman, Dr. Craig Walker. To talk about the pandemic of venous disease in the United States. It's huge. Far over 100 million people in the United States have venous disease. And in one of its most severe uh, presentations, that being venous ulceration, just venous ulcers are one of the most expensive Medicare DRG payments that exist for all of healthcare. These patients often have these ulcers for as long as 30 years yeah. before someone finally realizes what has caused them. And these are treatable, that's the sad part, but vein disease is so much bigger than that. Vein disease can also be pulmonary emboli. Pulmonary emboli are clots going to the lungs from the legs, typically, is uh, the second leading cause of sudden death and it's the leading cause of preventable death in hospitalized patients. Uh, what happens is clots form when the patients are immobilized, they travel, and these can be deadly because they block our ability to oxygenate the blood. So vein disease is big, but what else is vein disease? Well, the grafts used for dialysis, that's vein disease in a sense because we're creating a graft between an artery and a vein and often these block up at the side of the vein. You what about clots in the legs? That's venous disease. What about areas where nodes or ribs or other things compress a vein, blocking the vein? Well, that's vein disease. So there are many, many manifestations of vein disease. It is incredibly important, yet it's really not talked about much in medical school. There's very poor knowledge. And therefore, these patients often don't get diagnosed or they often get treated with the wrong treatments. Many patients with severe venous disease are treated for neuropathy, or they're treated for cellulitis with antibiotics, uh, you know, and, and that is a problem. Obviously, we need to be able to make a proper diagnosis to do a proper treatment Absolutely. and to relieve symptoms. So I think venous disease needs to, to be discussed. People need to learn about the potential treatments. We need to increase awareness of venous disease. And when we do this, we will have achieved many of those goals that we've set for New Horizons. At the NCVH, I noticed you have a, a track for venous sessions yes. dedicated for venous disease, yes. which I think is uh, unprecedented as well. It's, it, this is so important. We're going to show this transformative therapy of being able to remove the clot in the lungs. So with this therapy and some patients who have presented who are on 100% oxygen and are struggling to breathe, one can go in and remove these clots from a needle stick, not cutting the chest open, can remove these clots and in a matter of minutes, often have a patient who's comfortable on just breathing room air. Uh, and, you know, and this can be, again, a transformative therapy. But so many things. Imagine a venous ulcer where the leg wound is open, it can get infected. Imagine one of these for 30 years where every night it's leaking fluid on the bed sheets. Being able to treat this is so important Definitely. and it is treatable in today's world. We have to get this information out. Absolutely. As you said, awareness to the patient, but also awareness to the physicians who for see sure. the patient. For sure. Dr. Walker, thanks so much for your input on this very important topic. Watch these videos and others on the YouTube channel. This is Shadi Reyes from NCVH 2023.